Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to my blog. Um, this is my first project. Um, I hope uh, you went through the uh, entire blog. I mean, uh, like, I guess you went through the remaining slides, right? Um, so let's get started. Um, so in this video, um, I would like to explain uh, the entire working of this. So I would first uh, focus on uh, the data sheet of the gas sensor so as you can see this is a gas sensor and it has six pins uh, this being b2 h2 b1 a1 h1 and a2 uh, as i mentioned above the heater coil um, uh, uh, like it, it is um, connected between the h1 and the h2 terminals okay so one of the h terminals either h1 or h2 is given a positive supply and the other one is given a ground okay so when you connect in this fashion a car, a, so you apply a voltage across the coil so obviously um, there will be a generation of current so current will be flowing through which means that you give some power to the heater coil so that same amount of power will be dissipated as heat by the heater coil and we know why we use heater coil right so you have the sno2 layer now in order to uh, increase the sensitivity of it or in order to increase the number of free electrons in it you use this heater coil right so it heats up see what do you mean by setting up free electrons let's say atoms atoms have electrons like the outermost shell it has few electrons so now in order to uh, release the electrons or um, in order to make the electrons free that are present on the outermost shell of an atom we have to sup supply some energy to it okay so that energy is nothing but um, that energy is supplied in the form of heat so the heater coil does this job so the heater coil it gets heated up so it generates heat this heat um, is supplied to the electrons the electrons absorb this heat they get the sufficient energy to get out of that atom right and make themselves free so in this way the free electrons are generated like, like it's like this so um, it's because of the combustible gas some free electrons are generated and because of the heater coil few more free electrons are generated so overall increasing the number of free electrons that's crystal clear right next let's uh, talk about the um, a b terminals this is the a1 terminal this being a2 this being b2 and this being b1 see as i mentioned above um, any two of the four terminals can be used to take the output right so now uh, let's see and which means that across any two uh, terminals okay the output of the gas sensor can be taken it can be given to the microcontroller so now over here i use b2 and i, I, I use a1 so now b2 to the pin b2 i gave a 5 volt positive supply okay and to the a1 terminal i connected resistor and the other terminal of the resistor is connected to ground so now what actually happens over here is so you you gave a positive supply to this and you can and you've connected the resistor in this fashion and we know that the free electrons will be generated inside uh, uh, in the in the sno2 layer so which means inside the gas sensor in the sensing layer um the free electrons will be generated so now when you apply this voltage obviously the electrons will be uh, like there will be a push given to all the electrons because they are free electrons so which means that when you apply some voltage the, i mean like uh, the electrons flow so so the electrons flow in one direction which means the current is taken to be in the direction opposite to that of flow of electrons right so now when this happens which means a current is set up in which in which uh, i mean uh, what do you call so a current is set up across this path via this via this via this resistor to ground so when current is set up obviously the resistor has some resistance and um right so it has some resistance now across so what we do is across this resistor we take up the output because see the number of free electrons depends upon the combustible gas right the amount of that comp uh, the amount of gas is present in the atmosphere like lpg because mq2 sensor can um, detect gases like lpg butane methane etc so if any one of these gases um, uh, you know uh, like gets in contact with the mq2 sensor it sets up free electrons and the number of free electrons right is directly proportional to the amount of gas present oh right so amount of gas present is um, 
like okay so number of free electrons are directly proportional to the amount of gas present and when you have more free electrons obviously more current will be generated right for a particular amount of voltage so the amount of amount of uh, current generated is again proportional to uh, the number of free electrons so when current is more v is equal to i into r so obviously the voltage generated across the resistor is also high so indirectly the voltage generated across the resistor is directly proportional to the amount of gas present in the atmosphere this is how it works right i guess it, i hope it's uh, clear if you still guys have any doubts you can um, comment in the comment section below and i'll straight away um, clarify all your doubts okay so that's how it's working is right now let's get back let's get to this buzzer so buzzer is connected to pin number eight in in my circuit right so um we know already the role of a buzzer it will just set up a tone it will set up a sound of a certain of a certain frequency right so that's the usage of the buzzer and uh, we know the usage of audio you know because it's a microcontroller 80 mega 328p okay so now um, i would like to explain you guys the code how it works so um these two are the macro definitions it's just like uh, giving a name like so you give a name buzzer to pin number eight okay so the pin number eight can be accessed using this name and similarly the, uh, the pin number a zero can be accessed using the name gas reading okay um and okay so uh, let's get uh, let's uh, look at the remaining stuff so now pin mode so pin mode is a command which will set up any pin either to be in the input state or the output state which means that whether that pin will read an input from a device or will it give an output to a device since a buzzer is an output device it's like we give some signal to it and it will produce an output so it, so we write pin mode of the pin number to which the buzzer is connected to the buzzer pin which is um, I mean, which is nothing but the pin number eight and that pin that that mode of that pin we are setting it as output which means that from that pin we are going to give an output we are going to be given output signal right we are going to give an output i mean we want to give that some signal and that will make the buzzer to operate right um serial load begin of 9600 this will set up or this will start the communication between the microcontroller and the and, and our pc our computer right or you can just say it it starts the communication with the controller and the serial monitor okay um and uh, this one int value equal to analog read of gas reading so this command will read the value or the voltage or the output of a gas sensor okay at the a0 pin and that value uh, or that reading will be stored in a variable uh, declared as value next serial or print ln of value now this will print um, a value the uh, this will print the reading or the output of the gas sensor right which we read from the a0 pin into the serial monitor okay um and now now see we take we now I, I guess you guys will be getting a doubt how I, how i came to um the conclusion 400 right i have I came to the conclusion of uh, taking up a value of 400 over here so i'll explain you um in a couple of minutes i just want you guys to explain uh, uh, these comments I just want you to explain it to you guys like these commands like tone of buzzer comma 2000 now this thing sets up a tone like it will send a signal such that the buzzer will operate at a frequency of 2 kilohertz so um, the sound produced by the by the buzzer or the tone produced by the buzzer corresponds to a frequency of 2 kilohertz now we are going to add a delay which means that that tone exists for a for a time of 500 milliseconds and then we're going to switch that switch, switch that tone off so there won't be any sound from the buzzer for the next 500 milliseconds because we again wrote a delay command over here mm -hmm. uh, yeah and and it continues in in this sequence so now that that's that's the code right so now that's the working of it now um i would like to focus on one thing over here um it, it is uh, like uh, as i um, told you before uh, I, I just want you guys like i just want to tell you guys how i came to this conclusion of taking a value of 400 okay so um that we can just do it in one way we don't need to to use the buzzer and stuff i'll just show you you can just uh, remove this block it means that you're going to just read the value so what you're going to do is 
you're gonna read the value of the sensor when when in the absence of a gas and the absence of gas like lpg butane etc which means in the presence of the normal atmospheric gases we're going to read the value and now in the presence of um gases like lpg butane etc we're going to read the value and we're going to compare them and based on the comparison we're going to take up a base value which will differentiate these two values and based on that we write the code simple right so um i'll, I'll show you uh, how this happens I'll clear everything so the gas is over here initially and uh, the resistor I, I used over here is a three uh, as a five kilo ohm resistor for that in the absence of gas I'm getting a reading of 320 now wait I'll, I'll uh, do this now you see the atmosphere near the gas consists of um, gas like th this uh, like the, the combustible gas like LPG etc so now you see the reading has spiked up to 503 as you can even see in the graph and you can, as you can see the reading even over here right so 503 506 so now this is the reading of it so now as you can clearly see the differentiation level can be anything right so i took up a base value of 400 you can change it according to your own needs to your wish because why i took 400 is let's say there's slight amount of gas like you see in this case slight part of the gas is getting exposed to the gas sensor at that point the value is um, the value read by the sensor uh, it co comes out to be 420 so that so that is why i took up a value of 400 like for safety purpose right so it's completely your wish it's optional okay and um, i want to discuss another point uh, as i told you that uh, the sensitivity right the sensitivity of the gas sensor changes like when you change the value of this resistor the res if you change the resistance value of this resistor so first of all what do you mean by sensitivity right so now let us say initially um, the atmosphere consists of oxygen only oxygen like no combustible gas nothing which means the output let's say as I, like in the case of uh, um, 5 kilo ohm resistor we, we know that it came out to be how much 320 volt when when there was no um, uh, combust or when there was no when there were no glasses like uh, LPG butane etc present near it but in the presence of a gas like LPG butane etc the reading came out to be nearly 420 and when the, and the concentration of that gas increased it even went up to 520 530 something like that right for a 5 kilo ohm resistor okay but let, let's say but so now let, let, let's see let's see the, which means the difference between the values in the presence um, in, in the presence of in the in the absence of a gas like LPG and in the presence of a gas like L, a gas like LPG let's say we we will take we want to um, take up the take the difference between the values uh, in the presence of small amount of LPG and in the absence of LPG it's 100 right so now if you change the resistor right let's say like th that's what I mean um, don't get confused what I mean is say sensitivity so sensitive what do you mean by sensitivity the minimum change in the gas needed so that a considerable amount of change in the output can be observed let's say, so let so we've seen that first for the small amount of change in the gas the difference was 100 right uh, the the output voltage ka difference like the output ka difference was 100 okay for 5 kilo ohm resistor let's let's see what happens if you increase the resistance of it and we'll simulate it let's make it 10 kilo ohms let's simulate this now you see in the absence of a gas like lpg the, the reading came out to be 487 which was 320 for a 5 kilo ohm resistor but it's 487 for a 10 kilo ohm resistor and let's get this near and let's uh, expose this to a slight amount of lpg let's expose the gas sensor to a slight amount of lpg even more Okay, so I guess um, you have observed that it even it, it that that the value that it, it has gone to it went to a higher value, right? 568. So which means that for the same amount of um, gas, right? And in the absence of gas and even in the presence of sm small amount of gas, the output what we get is high compared 
to the before case so when we increase which means that if we increase the resistance of the of this resistor okay so the output is clearly changing which means it's increasing it's directly proportional to the resistance of it as simple as that right so in that way it completely depends upon you like say you need not use a 5 kilo ohm resistor okay so you can go for a 10 kilo ohm resistor but what i suggest to you is uh, to uh, to take down the readings properly okay because um, 320 was the value we got for a 5 kilo ohm resistor in the absence of oxygen but when we use a 5 10 kilo ohm resistor in the absence of oxygen we got a we got a reading of 438 so if you write on the same code no even in the absence of uh, the gas the buzzer will just go on which is not uh, the uh, the action or which is not the, the thing that our project uh, we want our project to do like we want a system or this this embedded system to do okay so if you can get this even more near see you can clearly see that the value is increasing okay um, so right so in this way um you can make changes uh, to your uh, resistance value that completely depends upon you so um, uh, thank you so much for listening patiently and uh, if you guys have any doubts uh, you can just comment in the comment section below and i'll uh, clarify all your doubts Thank you so much.